Hello, and welcome to the Career Fair Plus Workshop presented by the MU Career Services Council. We realize that searching for career opportunities and networking with employers is a stressful process and doing so during a pandemic adds additional stress and uncertainty. Please know that the career service professionals leading this training today and others across campus are here to support you through this process. As noted on this slide, there are a number of virtual career fairs this fall to network with employers about career opportunities. You are probably wondering how to prepare for a virtual career fair. This presentation will provide tools and resources to help you navigate this process. At this time, I'd like to pass it over to my colleague, Kim. Thanks, Jamie. So let's go over some things that you can do to prepare, to pr prepare for the career fairs. First, I want to talk about why it is important to attend. For freshmen and sophomores, this is a chance to learn about different companies, industries, and positions, plus start creating your network. Creating your network can take time, so it is important to start early and develop these relationships. For our juniors and seniors, this is a chance for you to reconnect with the network of employers you have built and express your interest for specific roles and showcase your skills and experiences you have gained since the last time you came to a career fair. Next, let's talk about research. Research is extremely important because you need to figure out what interests you. You will want to think about location, salary, company size, benefits like health insurance, flexibility, work-life balance, and the position itself. There are many ways to do research. You can use LinkedIn to follow companies that interest you, make connections and create your network, find people who have positions that interest you, and do informational interviews. You can also connect with Mizzou alumni as well. Research job descriptions in different fields if you aren't sure what role you are interested in. Handshake is also another great platform to do research on. Next, the app that we are using to host virtual career fairs is Career Fair Plus. For some of you, this should sound familiar as this is the app we have been using for over five years to showcase our in-person career fairs with a list of employers, positions, and map of the facilities. This year, we are using it for one-on-one -on -one virtual appointments, which you will be able to schedule with companies. Next, you will need to download the Career Fair Plus app on your phone and search University of Missouri. Next, you will need to review the list of companies and the positions they have, and internships versus full-time, and make a note of the ones you are interested in. Then you will need to build out your profile and upload your resume. Lastly, you will need to get your space ready, which we will touch on here in just a minute. If you need help with your resume, there are tons of resources on HireMizzouTigers.com. You can also schedule an appointment with your academic unit, unit's career services office via MU Connect. So next, you will want to be aware of your surroundings when you are doing the virtual career fair, as you can't have a virtual background on Career Fair Plus. Make sure you have a tidy area and appropriate pictures hanging in the background. You can also use a blank wall as well. Next, you want to make sure you have good lighting and that you are facing toward a window instead of having your back to the window. So that way they can clearly see you. For virtual career fairs, business casual and business professional, which is either a suit and tie or a button up shirt or blouse will be fine. But business professional is always best. Be mindful of jewelry, such as bracelets or watches that can make noise on a desk, and remember not to chew gum. For your devices, make sure you have a stable setup, somewhere to set your phone so you aren't moving around. We don't want you holding your device. Test your technology and your internet connection prior to your appointment, and make sure your device is fully charged and hide alerts for text messages. If your internet goes down, the employer has your number and will call you. Make sure you are in a quiet location inside, not outside. And be aware of clocks that chime, pets, and your roommates. Have a pen and notepad to take notes and make sure to note your recruiter's name and ask them for their email address. Now that you are all prepared, I will turn it over to Jennifer Davis to talk about what to do during the virtual career fair. 
Thank you so much, Kim. We are going to go ahead and jump right into the app to demo what a student would see. I unfortunately have to unshare my screen for just a moment and then share. The screen on the app within your phone. So after downloading Career Fair Plus, you will select the Career Fair Plus app within your smartphone. You'll notice that you can see all events here by clicking the Change Events tab. There are several virtual career fairs that you can choose from. For this example, though, we will use the Kaffner Arts and Science Virtual Career Fair by selecting. And then now I am able to take a look by clicking on the Employers tab at the bottom, scroll through each of the companies that are attending. I can also click on the employer to view their profile, to see what jobs they are posting, if it's internship or full time, and direct links to their website. If I were interested in this organization here, I can click on virtual appointments. Again, taking a look at their overview, what they're hiring for, contact information. For the view meetings, this is how I will schedule to meet with the employer during a 10 minute session. The student will enter into a virtual waiting room. The employer will then let you in and then you're able to meet with the employer and discuss just like you would for an in person career fair. I can select Which time slot is most convenient for me on the day of the career fair. And then that information will be compiled Into the virtual appointments tab at the bottom. So here I know the day of the fair, how many appointments I have scheduled. I can easily click on that and it'll take me to the virtual meeting room by clicking the join meeting. To update my profile information to get started will be at the top right. And here I can include my resume. It'll send you an, a link to your email address to be able to upload your resume directly from your desktop or laptop. Then you can maneuver through and add your LinkedIn URL profile, your phone number, what major you are, your graduation date, and so forth. All of this information is compiled for the employer to be able to see after you've scheduled that initial appointment. If I need to edit my profile, I can do so by clicking the edit profile here or let's say that I have uploaded the wrong resume or I've met with a career specialist to update my resume, I can then click the upload button again and it will replenish that resume. And so there will be only one resume within your profile. So this is a brief walkthrough of the Career Fair Plus platform. Going to return now. to our PowerPoint presentation. When you enter into the virtual meeting room, the very first thing that you will most likely get is your elevator pitch. This is the tell me about yourself type question, especially during an interview. Uh, but for the career fair, meeting with an employer, it is important for you to restate your name, what year you are, what you're majoring in, and maybe an interesting fact or two about yourself. Also letting them know why you signed up with them to meet them in person or virtually in this space in the, in the first place. So here is a brief example of an elevator pitch that you may provide. You can also connect with your career services uh, specialist to be able to craft an elevator pitch if you have not done so just yet. Great conversation starters would be something along these lines. So providing your elevator pitch and then asking what is a typical career path or day look like? What professional development opportunities does your organization provide? 
asking specific questions about the positions, letting the employer know that you have applied or that you will be applying. Reference any research that you've done, whether that was from the news or LinkedIn or their direct website. And then what do you like most about working here is always a great question to understand the company culture. We never want to ask, what does your company do? That information can be housed and found within their website, the Career Fair Plus profile information. And so you should know a little bit about the company before you selected a time slot with that company. Proper etiquette to keep in mind would be not to schedule time slots here and there and everywhere. We want to be mindful that if you are selecting a time slot with an employer, that you are full wholeheartedly interested in that organization because likely you are taking that spot from another student. We want to be mindful of the recruiter's time. We have 10 minutes with that recruiter. Uh, you will not be able to see the next student in line for their, their appointment. Uh, but know that there is a student waiting to talk with that employer as well. And then be ready and early. We want you to show up, participate. If the employer is giving you a call, we want you to answer the phone call and be prepared and ready to go to interact and engage in great conversation for those virtual, this virtual career fair. And now I will turn it over to Julia Parcell with Arts and Science. Hello everyone. So now we get to the really exciting part. You think that all the work is behind you and you've done all this work to meet with companies and to learn about positions and to introduce yourself. Um, but there are some tips that we would like to share with you that are going to help set you apart from other candidates. So after you've had this great conversation, the first thing we want you to do is to wrap up that conversation with, it's been a pleasure talking with you. I look forward to hearing about next steps. That's one example of how you can do that. You want to include a thank you. Uh, I could ask a million questions about the company or I could talk to you all day, um, but thank you for taking the time to speak with me. I see that our 10 minutes is running out. Um, you want to confirm next steps. So if they have given you very specific instructions, like connect with me on LinkedIn, apply on our website, you want to be sure to follow up and do those steps. You want to also ask them for a contact. What is the best contact? Should you ask them for an email address? Should you uh, reach out to them on LinkedIn or maybe both? Um, you can do one or both of those things. While you're talking with them, you can jot down some notes. And this is the part where I really, I, I think you can set yourself apart um, by bringing up something interesting that you talked about during your conversation. It could be something personal, it could be something about the company that you learned, or it could be uh, about the Cardinals. It could be really about anything, but when you do your follow-up communication, it's important to include something that will help them remember the conversation that they had with you during the fair. Um, so, networking events are also a good way to, um, you know, Stay connected with the organizations that you talk to at the fair. Look on Handshake to try to find if they're um, offering any events either through Handshake or just on their website. The last thing I want to talk to you about are some resources that are available to you here on campus. So as several of my colleagues mentioned, check with your campus career office and there's a link here on this page um, to connect you with the right person or people. And we really want you to encourage you to take advantage of the resources that are here. Meeting with someone, getting more eyes on your resume or practicing your elevator pitch um, are great ways to both prepare for the, the career fairs, but also for the interview process. Um, I wanna point out big interview, especially as you prepare for the interview process, because this is a way to um, practice in a virtual setting. You can record your answers, you can have people review those answers, you can review them to um, see where you might need to work. Um, the Mizzou Mentoring Program is also great if you are looking to um, expand your network but you're not really sure where to go. This is uh, a network of alumna who are interested in feeding back to you. Um, I also want to mention quickly that Hiram Mizzou Tigers, also known as Handshake, is a great resource to find um, not only the career fairs, but all kinds of programming and professional networking events that you might want to uh, check out. 
I am now going to turn it back over to Jamie, who's going to finish us up. Thank you, Kim. Thank you again for attending this training. We hope that this will help ease any concerns about attending a virtual career fair. MU Career Services Council want to reiterate how important it is, now more than ever, to network with industry professionals, have your resume prepared, and be ready to share your elevator pitch. If you have any follow-up questions, please connect with your campus career office. We are happy to help.